The new parts have arrived from the factory without issue. They'll be fitted to the car in time for the next session. Yeah, not that we uh, had much uh, put on the car, but uh, welcome everyone as we go from one of our worst tracks to statistically one of our better tracks. Welcome to the Circuit of the Americas. Uh, weekend preview, development quality, yep. Uh, looks like to be a dry race, uh, that's uh, always good. Our contract value, our value, brilliant. We're losing to Frankie, but we're beating Stroll. Everything looks good there. Your championship lead, Kimi Raikkonen, you're still your championship leader. From Lewis Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, Daniel Ricciardo, Max Verstappen, and a big gap to Nico Hulkenberg. There's myself in eighth. We're having a good season, first season. And then uh, Kevin Magnussen, Carlos Sainz. And still, if we look down the bottom here, Hartley and Ericsson yet to score. Coming off uh, a DNF at Suzuka. Like I said, one of our worst tracks. Now we go to one of our better tracks. Uh, in fact, all this section here is uh, pretty kind to us in the past. Austin, Mexico, uh, Interlagos, all that should uh, work out very nicely. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to go uh, get practiced uh, and then we'll see you for qualifying. It's time for today's qualifying session to begin here in the United States. Welcome to the Circuit of the Americas. So then, Ant, it's another Grand Prix weekend, another exciting qualifying session ahead of us. What are you going to be looking out for over the next few minutes? The first question is going to be who can avoid making mistakes. <coughs> there isn't much Lewis thought it was funny, I'm going to take pole off him. You have to bear in mind that the track conditions may have changed since practice, particularly as we've had a few support races in the meantime. If the brake bias settings, for example, don't take this into account, it's extremely easy to lock up a front wheel and cause a flat spot. Just like that, your lap's ruined and you've wasted a set of tyres to boot. Okay, we know it's going to be a struggle to get out of this session, but give it your best shot. Trust me, mate, it really isn't going to be a struggle getting out of this session. Because for lack of a better term, we have been flying. All of the fresh stuff that came with the car and the setup as well. Ooh. Track's really bumpy and abrasive. Here we go at the last corner. You can just hear the control pad rattling as you go down these straights. I may have weaked it a bit into turn one, but you watch me through this section coming up here. The car is on rails. The only thing I can't even get that corner right, but it's a good exit out. And now it's down to the hairpin. This crucial hairpin. Way there you go. Still the control pads rattling. Oh, I didn't. I forgot the RS. I'm an idiot. Uh, only half a second off Vettel, and we got this section to come, which I was absolutely hammering them. Full commitment. Maronian. Wow. That last lap moved you into P4. Okay.
Let's go five minutes before the end. Yeah, we're on the bubble. We've got to sort that out. So far, our fastest lap is a 135.0. Give me another half a second. Right, let's go for it. I've tried to do well. We may have lost a little time with the fact that we forgot DRS down the back straight. So uh, we want to uh, rectify that. We may have weak sourced it a bit into that corner, but the problem is, you get on the power too much. Do this. Come on then. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Here we go. <clears throat> oh yeah, we definitely weaked it into the hairpin, but we look at the time we've lost. Oh well, you see we gaining that time back. to the hairpin. Lovely through the hairpin. Already half a second up. Plus whatever we make up here. If we hit the apexes, that's an absolutely flat out corner. It should give us a better lap. And it does up into P10. Your last lap put you into P10. So that should be us through to Q3. slide down to 11th but that'll do us so out of that session we lose Stoffel Van Dorn, Pierre Gasly, Lance Stroll, Marcus Ericsson and Brendan Hartley so at least they beat Hartley so yeah Stroll alright then on to Q2 right Q2 got our new set of ultra soft boots on let's make sure that we're unloaded so that's good let's go and uh now we're only going to do one lap, so it's kind of got to count. Don't go wrong, I do like this stadium section, it can be a bit fiddly, especially this corner. You get on the power too early and the car will say bye bye. Slightly, but we uh, we got away with that one. Mm. 
That's our benchmark time there, set by Charles Leclerc. Oh, lovely through the hairpin. I want to beat Alonso 100%. He's got the DRS wide open. The apex, lovely. Where what? Oh, good lord! I think we're half a second faster than Alonso. Whoa! Car wants to pitch around then. P2 with all the faster cars yet to come. That was a good lap. Oh, now we're P8. <laughs> who's, who's yet to set a time? Roman and Nico. We may squeak through here. It'll be all about if science beats us. Like a fanboy. Don't do it, science. Ah, you... Oh, Alonso beat us. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, well, P13. I think that's uh, the most we could have got out of the car today. But uh, we're definitely going to be uh, looking to beat Alonso in the race. 100%. So, uh, let's head back to the shop, I think I'm happy with 13th. Yeah, we beat Stroll, that's fine. Well, we got to beat Alonso. Yep, they're happy with that. Ooh, we can get an upgrade right now. How's that? Red Bull and Mercedes and Haas were impressed. Well done. Very solid results. You're looking good for the race. Right, let's, uh, right then. I think we want... Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, we can just buy it by one point. One point. So, uh, yeah. A message. Oh, it's time. Nope, not nervous at all. Eros hot lab, not too aggressive into turn one. Well, I think we can go absolute aggressive into turn one, Jeff. You watch me. I'll guarantee I'll come out somewhere mid pack. I'll guarantee you. So let's go and uh, get the American race underway. 2012, America's on again, off again love affair with Formula One finally seemed to settle down with the completion of this wonderful racing facility here in Texas. Since then, we've been treated to some incredible races, including, of course, that classic wet-dry championship decider of 2015. It's the Circuit of the Americas, then, situated 14 miles outside the great city of Austin. This is a 3.6-mile lap with 20 corners, 10 each to the left and to the right, and top speeds of around 200 miles per hour. Overtaking opportunities are available into turns 1 and 12, especially with that rear wing DRS wide open. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. About to get fly over from the F14s, where they are this weekend. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today, as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromised start. Well then, after Who took an a grid penalty? qualifying session yesterday, didn't catch that. let's take a look at how the cars line up. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. Oh, that is and immense. alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the grid we have... Look at signs in Kevin Magnussen and Grosjean. 
Alonso, Ocon, Bottas, and Poole. Oh, hey, we start Perez, P10. Raikkonen, Raikkonen, Raikkonen took a penalty. Ricardo took a penalty. Hulkenberg took a penalty. Hulkenberg, Stroll, Marcus Ericsson, and Brendan Hartley. Everyone Leclerc took a penalty, I think. Gasly rounds off the grid. And with light <laughs> just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Okay, you can break late into one because of the incline. It's a slow corner though, so make sure you stay out of trouble. Good luck. <laughs> right then. I'm happy with that. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get it. So we'll engage the clutch. Rev the car. It's lights out and away we go. And we're going to try and beat them all into turn one. Well, not beat them all. Oh, Bottas getting punched in. Hello, Science. Coming through. Oh, Max has stepped. No, Science still doesn't want to give up. No, you're going to give up, Science. Yeah, there you go, fanboy. Look this. We're right on Hamilton's tail. Cannot get that corner oh, right. Nice start. We're dropping signs, which is good. The Stappen dropped to six. I think if we, if Hamilton can pull us with him. As we run a bit wide in the... I can't remember what turn that was, 11? I think it's 11. But then we should beat all these guys through this core. Look at this. It's absolutely murdered. It is a massacre in that corner. And it's only what? Seven tenths off Hamilton. We can't be that far much further behind Vettel. Coming, Lewis. We've dropped sights like a bad habit. We should get... I, I tell you what, we've got an easy podium here. Could we get more? tight into the stadium complex. We only need, what? An eighth to get the uh, objective. Hamilton sets okay, the fastest lap, Metal sets the fastest now, lap. DRS has been enabled. We're 1.1 behind Grosjean's net. Stick him Grosjean. It would be nice if we uh, kept Grosjean away. Signs have dropped back. Please, we need to charge the battery. I'll do it uh, in a second, Jeff. I think we'll do it now, actually. 
because we've not got uh, DRS on Hamilton. Even though we'd love to have DRS on Hamilton. I tell you what, have a fight with Vettel. I don't mind if you fight Vettel. You and Vettel have a good fight, and I'll uh, come join. How's that sound? We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the super softs. Now they checked out. So as long as we can stay third, we've got this. So nice to ride curves instead of uh, feathering them like uh, bloody Suzuka. We advise moving to mix two, fuel to mix two. <clears throat> We're certainly dropping Grosjean. Let's go uh, into the hot lap mode. Give it absolutely everything. Grosjean and Verstappen are having a good fight. Oh, Hamilton's just taking the lead, I think. Not quite. Keep fighting, lads. There's an interesting Williams behind you. Hamilton has just taken the lead. Well, I know he's just taken the lead. I just saw him take the lead, Jeff. I had a front row seat for that one. And in fact, Hamilton's gone in the pits, I think. is 2.4 seconds. Actually, it's Vettel that's gone in the pits. Verstappen's uh, also in the pits. 2.2 to Hamilton. This is our best performance for a while, I tell you. coming in this lap or not? I don't know. I don't think he said we were coming in this lap. No, it's next lap we come in. But Bottas is behind uh, Sainz and Grosjean. Now there'll be no uh, heroics into turn one if uh, come out in the pits and there's a load of them. Okay, we need some energy harvesting. Reduce ERS deployment. I think Hamilton's in the pits, so Grosjean's in the pits. In this lap, in this lap, push now. So we take the lead. That's an interesting development. Here comes Bottas with Sainz. Bottas has just taken second place. Gotta, oh, that's wide onto the grass. Oh dear me! I'll be happy to get these super softs off. Sorry, ultra softs. Get the super softs on. Where will we come out? That's gonna be an interesting question. 
because I think Hamilton's come out in traffic. I think Vettel's uh... pit in this lap, and remember the speed limit. We'll be penalised if we exceed it. Keep that in mind as you approach. Yeah, okay, okay, I don't want a speeding penalty, that's for sure. So here we go. Oh, one! On the line! There's loads coming out. Oh, we got a clear. That's good. So, what's happening? Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Oh, did Grosjean beat us out? Oh, Grosjean beat us out. Not fair. So we might now be racing for four. Four still a good result though. Although who's uh, Grosjean racing with? It's about to turn into a clusterfuck in front of us. Excuse my language. He's racing with Ericsson. Ericsson, king of the misplaced strategy. I don't think Hamilton's too far in front. But I think Vettel has uh, checked out. Yep. Grosje on past Ericsson. Oh, there's Lance. Go on, Lance, hold him up, Boris. Oh, Lance, you suck. Lance is in the pits. We got DRS. Now we've passed the whole gaggle, so we're back into fifth. Who's not pitted yet, then? Somebody's not pitted. I think it's Verstappen. No, Verstappen's pitted. That might be Ricardo in third place, then. Hey, Grosjean, look behind you. I'm going to have DRS this lap as well. Hamilton's out in front. Hamilton in the lead. We've got DRS on Grosjean. Let's see if we can take him. It's going to be close into the next corner. It's going to be real close. Oh, what a move. Oh, oh it is Verstappen in third. Verstappen who's having a fight with Vettel. We're now to be about to be embroiled in a fight with another horse. That might have DRS himself now. The gap to the leader is 10.6 seconds. Hamilton's checked out. Yeah, Hamilton's case, it's check please, table one. Or should I say, check please, table 44. Gap to car in front is 1.8 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to say, are we catching Vettel here? Because it looks like Vettel's struggling. Because Verstappen got by him and he's... he's gone.
Oh, speaking of gone, here's Grosjean. Happy outside of the corner, Roman. I think me and Grosjean are fighting. Is low. If we turn down the ERS deployment, we can harvest more energy. Me and Grosjean might be fighting for a place on the podium here. Well, I say a place on the podium. Look who's actually behind Grosjean. It's Valtteri Bottas. Yeah, Vettel's got a big problem here. laps of fuel remaining. Vettel's got a problem and he's a sitting duck. We'll play it smart with Vettel. We want to gain some respect with the Ferrari. Oh, he's definitely struggling. He's, he's struggling. Excess fuel will be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. We'll go get him in the hairpin. Good move. And we've put him in Grosjean's way as well. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Vettel's got a big problem. Let's see if we can catch uh... Verstappen here. No, we can't catch Verstappen. Well, that's wide. That's track limits. Going no battery. For Vettel to be that slow, he's got to have a wing problem, or... I wonder if uh, young Maxwell decided to uh, take a souvenir home with him. Okay, gap ahead is 6.2 seconds. Let it be 6.2, I'm in a fight for the podium here with Roman Grosjean. All of a sudden, I'm public enemy number one with the American fans. He is gaining slightly, but not a lot. I don't know, what, what lap are we on? I, don't, I can't see you. Hold on, let me look. Uh, we're on lap 11. There's three laps of fuel remaining. If I'd waited, he'd have told me my answer. So we're going to get three laps of intense fighting between myself and Roman Grosjean for the podium. It's England versus America. Let's see who comes out on top. Reduce the ERS deployment, please. We need to charge the battery. Can't we do it? That again. Good exit out of that corner. And then hope it just stays with us. Or is this Haas's moment to shine as the sun comes out?
Here we go, he's having first go. He locks up, we win the first battle. Our gap to the car in front is 8.3 seconds. Yeah, you know I was thinking of catching Verstappen, that ain't happening now, he's checked out. Sit your ass back there, Roman. I can I can feel every American right now willing that heart to the to the podium. DRS doesn't really play much help here. If he wants it, he's going to outbreak me in the hairpin. That's not going to happen. We've got a yellow flag behind us, I think. Green flag. I thought uh, Vettel had finally give up. Oh, it's Ricardo that's give up. He's saving some battery. Here comes Grosjean. And we're going to commence round two. Close. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. I only need one lap. So shut up, Jeff. Go. It's all or nothing. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Because now we, we've also got to watch behind. We've got Valtteri Bottas interested. He's going to charge the battery up as much as we can. The gap to the car ahead is 11.4 seconds. Yeah, Verstappen's checked out, so it's Hamilton on the podium with Verstappen, but who joins him? Will it be myself? Will it be Roman Grosjean? Will it be Bottas? I think Grosjean might be too far back. If we can hold him on, now here he comes. He thought about a late lunge, not happening. I think we just hold him off. We can get through this section, Hamilton wins the race. GG to Hamilton. Good Lord, Grosjean's close! Protect the inside! We've got him! <laughs> podium for the Williams! Yes, that's a podium. Excellent drive. The team have worked especially hard this weekend, and this is a fantastic reward. Oh, yes, what a victory. We'll take that. That's it for another Grand Prix, and a fantastic win for Mercedes. So, Ant, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, I'd, I'd say it's just raw uh, Yes, pace, it was pace. I mean, we could sit here and talk about strategy all day, the overtaking, looking after the tyres. But at the end of it all, if you want to win, you need a package that's got the speed over Bottas everyone else. with a fifth. Where, I'll exactly be interested to find out today. where Vettel finished. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley. Do you know what I'd like to see for the next F1 game? Actual podium anthems. 
at the champagne! So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? I have to give it to Paul. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, though, goodbye. There's where Vettel finished. He finished ninth. Wow. Hamilton with the victory. That's going to help him in the championship over Raikkonen. He only finished seventh. Alonso got a point, but we beat him. Only one DNF, Danny Ricciardo. Oh, fantastic. What a result. What's that do for us? Yay! We're up above Hulkenberg. We're best of the rest. Not bad for a first season. Yeah, but we're still six. We've got to beat Haas and Renault. Means Lance has got to start scoring. Right then. I think it's time to head back to the shop. After this uh, fantastic result. Fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Uh, it was very easy. You really cut your way through the field today. Um, what was your well, strategy? I think it was uh, the fact that it was um, the aero package was absolutely fantastic today. You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? You must be thrilled to be up on the podium. I'm picking up the aero package here. Great. Well, that's everything. No problem. Come on, boys. Drinks are on me. And just like that, we're back on par with Alonso. Can you pay me handsomely, please? Thank you. Wow, walk away with a thousand points. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. Everyone was impressed with that pose. Even Haas. I got the respect of Haas. Fantastic podium. Well done. Keep pushing like this for the rest of the season. Right, I know what I'm doing first. You hit your last team goal. Well done. That should yep. get the team a nice boost to their development. I was hoping for an eighth and we got a podium. Nah, 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 nah. Right. So we got the Urs. Let me have a look here. What can we get? Ooh, hello. Now that would be useful, wouldn't it? Should we get an upgrade? It'd be ready for what, Brazil? No, I think we'll wait. I think. I really want to splurge. So we'll uh, take the MGUH wear for 902, which means we just need 900 and. Well, no, we don't even need that for uh, Mexico, do we? And then uh, we can start plotting for next season. We're plotting evilly. Oh, yes. Everything looks good here. I think we'll be fine. There it is, man. Third place finish in America. Don't get better than that. Hey, if we do well at America, we should do well at Mexico as well. With our straight line speed. That would be wicked. 
so uh, thanks for watching I hope you uh, enjoyed that I certainly enjoyed a good fight with uh, Roman Grosjean uh, and we'll see if we can repeat that in Mexico City so we'll uh, we'll see you there